Welcome to Hot Topics, sponsored by the Arizona Chapter Associated General Contractors. Enjoy the show. Today we're going to talk about the, about the Cubs and uh, the bill that uh, you're sponsoring to keep the Cubs in Mesa. And I know that our members are interested because there will be some building that will come with that. Right. So take us through this. What prompted you to sponsor the bill? Okay. I've had a lot of people ask me that. What prompted me? And, you know, A, I don't live in Mesa. And B, I'm not a native of Chicago. <clears throat> but what I am interested in is, um, is economic development for the state of Arizona. As, as you know, that's been kind of my mantra since I've been in, since I've been in the legislature. And the Cactus League in general is a tremendous economic driver for the state of Arizona. They bring hundreds of millions of tourism dollars every year, the Cactus League does, and the Cubs are the key driver uh, of, of the Cactus League. The Cubs uh, uh, clearly are the, uh, to use the trite phrase, straw that stirs the drink. Uh, when the other teams uh, uh, have, have their games, uh, they get uh, you know, a certain amount of in attendance, but when the Cubs show up, they fill up the stadiums. And everybody recognizes that. Uh, well, why is, why is the legislation necessary to keep the Cubs in Mesa? Okay. Uh, the Cubs have new ownership, uh, something that a lot of people don't know. And uh, the new ownership has absolutely no ties to the state of Arizona. Uh, in fact, the new uh, the chairman of the board, which is the, the, um, you know, the family that owns, that now owns the Cubs, never set foot in the state of Arizona until last November. Why is that important? Well, it's important because they're <laughs> in the Cactus League in, in Arizona. The other reason it's important is that they have family ties and business ties in the state of Florida. In the last 10 years, the Cactus League has gained six teams to Arizona from Florida. So Florida, as you would imagine, is smarting from that. So they're very eager to get somebody to move back to Florida from Arizona and getting a team like the Cubs would be a a tremendous coup for them, not, not only for their uh, psychology of the state, but more importantly for them, for the, uh, for the economy of it. And um, the Cubs uh, are, are looking to get a new stadium. Uh, the new owners have looked around and said, wow, some of the stadiums that uh, have been built for some of the new teams that have moved in here are terrific. Uh, we would like to upgrade our facilities. And um, so I'm trying to find a way to do two things, really. Uh, one is to help the Cubs get a new facility, but more important to that is to um, uh, maintain the uh, financial stability of the Cactus League and help the Cactus League to grow. Uh, speaking of which, and, and I understand that it's a dynamic process, so a as you're negotiating and having different discussions with folks, things are subject to change, uh, but t walk us through some of the key provisions of the bill. Okay. Um, what the bill uh, provides for, and uh, it is a um, is a new funding stream for the Cactus League. The funding stream that was there and is there uh, was voted in in the year 2000, Proposition 302, uh, and it provides uh, funding for uh, a number of things in the tourism area. Among those is uh, refurbishing and uh, of Cactus League stadiums as well as building new stadiums. That funding stream is tapped out. Uh, we've been the victims of our own success. We've done a tremendous job, as I said. We've got six teams from Florida, which is great for the economy of the state of Arizona. But that funding stream has been tapped out, and now it's the Cubs' turn, and they are the, uh, you know, the stability, the anchor in the Cactus League, and there's no money there. So what I'm trying to do is to provide a funding stream that will help the Cubs and also provide additional funding for the rest of the Cactus League, not just the, not just the Cubs only. Obviously warrants the next question of whether or not um, it takes a two-thirds vote to get these bills through. Does it take a two-thirds vote? I and, and if so, do you think you can get that? And then if it doesn't, why doesn't it take a two-thirds yeah, vote? It, it's, um, it does not take a, not take a two-thirds vote uh, uh, because it's not what uh, we uh, refer to as a Proposition 108, uh, which is a, uh, any money that benefits the general fund of the state would uh, any new any new money is what we call a prop 108 as I said and we require two-thirds vote this is not a tax to the general fund it's a user fee it never goes into the general fund it goes directly 
to the uh, to the Cactus League basically to, to keep it to keep the understanding of it of understanding of it simple. So because it goes to the AS A Z S T A, yep. <laughs> which uh, runs the Cactus League funding, because the money goes there, not in the general fund, does not require a two thirds vote.